from Tales from the Trails. In this video I'm going to show you the tricks what you can unlock with your horse as the bonding level increases with it. At bonding level 1 all you get is the whistle recall and that essentially calls your horse from a small distance away. As your bonding level increases the distance increases as well so it is quite useful especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. At bonding level 2 this agitates your horse but you get the rearing up which is the R1 and square as you can see the horse is slightly agitated so you've got to calm it down by pressing the L3 button I do tend to walk it round a bit as well come on, calm down Not happy, is he? Hold on. That's my boy. <laughs> Come on, calm down. What's your head up for? You all right, boy? There we go. Sometimes it takes quite a while to calm it back down, but we've got there. So that was rearing, and that was R1 and square. At bonding level three, you get the sliding stop, which is you running. In the slide. And to do that, it's R1 with X, and you've got to be travelling at speed to do that. Otherwise, it doesn't do it. You can imagine cowboys on the horses roping calves and cows with the lasso doing that to the slide and stop. But it is very useful if you're running up behind some guy on a horse, you put your lasso around him and then just okay there, whip him off it. It's good for changing direction quickly as well. Easy. At bonding level 4 you get the PF. It is a real life dressage move in English riding and the only use I've found for it in this game is to Easy. lightly manoeuvre your horse into position over something or in front of something or behind something, you know, just movement but you can do this at higher speed as well which is useful for when you're running around and you don't want to hit a tree or a signpost or a rock or whatever so you're running along you get a quick response to it to get around things it takes some getting used to but it is useful like I keep saying it is useful there we go. Um, to do the PF you just press square. That's just holding square on the spot, no other buttons pressed. If you want to move left and right, hold square, move your left stick, left, right, backwards and forwards. I don't think backwards works actually. No, you don't get backwards, you don't get reverse. Okay. So those are the four tricks. The whistle, the rear, the sliding start, and the PF, which also has um, the drifting, I believe they call it. Which are all really cool how they've put it into the game. I have gone out through all the controls. So if you want that again, rearing is uh, uh, R1 and square. Again, you've always got to calm down your horse afterwards. You okay, boy? Is he calm? No, he's still not happy. I should never do this one first, really, should I? Come on. Calm down. Now he's calm, we have the sliding stop, which is R1 and X at speed, and pull back on your left stick as well. Well, that's what I tend to do. It does seem to help. And then 
the level 4 bonding is the PF and the drifting PF is that, it is square and then you can move left and right as well again it works at speed as well which is the drifting so you don't want to hit the bush but you hit the rabbit apparently was it a rabbit? sorry whatever you were oops sorry I've hit it again still didn't see it there we go. sorry bunny so those are the tricks for your horse I hope I've explained it as much as I can because it can get a bit confusing Thank you for watching. If you do enjoy my videos and want to see more, which don't contain game story spoilers, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care.